Live from the local liquor store to your living room, it's Transformers News with your host, YouTube's most outspoken alcoholic and worldly wino, the dashing and debonair drunken prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, gather around. Let's grab a seat and uh, let's get into the news. Welcome back. I uh, hope everybody's having a good week. I hope everybody is uh, enjoying everything and getting ready for the weekend. Uh, but uh, let's get into the news. So story number one. I, I got to tell you this story to go into the, to the other story. So here I was about ooh, six years ago. Um, a friend of mine invited me to cheer, sort of cheer him on in a uh, Magic the Gathering card tournament that he was getting into. Um, he, he had a... a been you know he was performing pretty well i guess i mean i'm not really into magic gathering i'm not really into card games but um outside well outside of poker and blackjack i'm not really into card games but at the adjacent table uh, apparently some guy had lost to some other guy and he jumped up from the table called him a dirty sneaking cheat and proceeded to take the entire table flip it up and <laughs> slap the crap out of the guy because apparently he, he thought he was cheating which brings to mind story number one the transformers deck building game because i can't wait for this energy to come to transformers <laughs> i cannot wait to see irate transformer fans mad because someone got somebody played an optimus prime at a critical moment in the game and <laughs> some guy some guy gets angry flips the table because he he's already played his megatron it's god he has nothing to counter it and he just proceeds to slap the crap out of somebody <laughs> i cannot wait i cannot wait i listen I'm happy if you're happy, but this right here, this could be awesome simply because of the 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 potential for rage-filled outbursts because you drew the wrong damn card at the wrong damn time. And hey, I get it. I get it. You know, have you ever played Hold'em and you got the guy beat until the last card is flipped? Oh, so brutal. Oh, oh, so brutal. I get it. I get it. Or you're playing blackjack and you're sitting on that 17 and a dealer gets a 20. Oh, it's so brutal. But in both those instances, I'm in a casino. And if I jump up and flip the table up, number one, I have super strength because those tables are heavy. But number two, um, well, you know. I go to jail, but <laughs> but, but I, I I that I want that. Th that's another level of passion that could come in the Transformers deck building game. So what are we getting with this? We're getting fifty starter cards, thirty six basic cards, eighty five main deck cards, six Decepticon boss cards, ten encounter cards, five reference cards, six oversized character cards, fifteen tracking tokens eight reminder tokens six player standees 40 victory point tokens 50 energon cubes a rule book and a partridge in a pear tree whoa okay that's a lot for 44.99 i guess that's enough to sort of fill the gap of of the cards i, I like i said i'm not i <laughs> i i'm i'm simply in it 
the same the same way the casual NASCAR fan is in it for the car crash I'm the same exact way I'm in this for the car crash I just want to see people get really competitive over a Transformers game uh, card game and just you know I'm in it for the car crash bring on bring bring that energy let's go let's enjoy it but like I said until then I'm happy if you're happy if this makes you happy if this checks your boxes then you know what I'm happy that this can bring a little bit of joy to your life and in the in, in case and in the, the case that you lose and you're angry and you want to throw things at people I hope someone's filming it and putting it on world world star yeah so if you're enjoying me regaling you with tales of magic the gathering brawls um, <laughs> Please feel free, like, share, subscribe. It'll go a long way to keep the channel going and uh, keep that old whiskey flowing. So in our main story, the hits keep on coming. So Studio Series 86, as far as main line Transformer lines go, has been a smashing hit in my mind, except for Blur because Blair sucks um, you know I I don't know what it is about that one figure the pylons on the arm I don't know what it is about that figure that's just I I, I don't get it the, the terrible face sculpt it's a fucking terrible face sculpt I don't know what it is about that one character that just drives me up a wall but for the most part 90% of the studio series 86 line has been amazing. It's been super fun uh, for a collector, for just just in general. It's just been fun, and the hits kind of just keep on coming. We got slag. We got the video of slag. We got um, some of the early, 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 super duper early reviews of slag, and I'm I'm just ready to go for that one. Um, and now we have the images of the Studio Series 86. Uh, Voyager class, Rekgar, and I say to you, the listening audience, yes, bring this on. Now I own third-party Rekgars uh, because I uh, Rekgar I treat the same way I treat Springer. This is this that anytime I see a Springer car uh, figure uh, come up, I buy it. At third party, I have all these different. I. I love Springer. Springer's, Springer and Rekka are my two favorite supporting characters uh, from the 86 movie. I love those guys. I love them. So the third party offerings I have for Rekka have been, to me personally, they've been disappointing. I don't like them. I just, I just don't. The Springers, uh, I, you know, I don't enjoy transforming them for the most part because they'll break and I don't want them to break so Springer's just kind of stuck in statue mode um, unless I feel like rolling a dice so to have a mainline version of Rekgar where I can kind of fiddle with it I think this is going to be cool um, now with that said with that said we haven't seen any pictures of the motorcycle mode and I, I think there's a reason for that I feel like this one is going to be a parts former and People aren't going to like it, and I, I think that's part of the reason why I, we don't see the motorcycle mode. Um, people who, if you, it, it, this could be a cool parts former, sort of like the uh, uh, Paleo Treks. This could be a cool parts former, but it also could be a mediocre parts former, um, a la Ractonite, uh, a la. Um, well, Ironworks is pretty cool. I actually, I actually like, I actually like Ironworks, but Airwave. I think Airwave is a pretty mediocre parse former. It he could be that, but in retrospect, the Junkions were parse formers. I mean, literally the first introduction to them, they were getting knocked over in their fight with the Autobots, and their their arms were coming off, and they were putting their arms back together and putting themselves back together. Then another one would transform and they jump on that guy in the motorcycle and then drive off and go back into the fight. So I mean, they technically are parts formers if you really think about it. Um, so I'm I'm not mad at that, but 
Some people, they won't like it. Some people, it's not going to be their cup of tea. That's fine. That's fair. But for me, I'm ready for this. I want this. Let's go. And with that said, be safe, be good, and this is the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer, and signing off.